Hello friends, welcome to Ashok IT. Again, I'm Patil Sheetal and come up with top 25 multi-threading questions. So let's start. What is multi-threading in Java? As the name suggests, it is the ability of a CPU to execute multiple threads independently at the same time, but the share the process resources simultaneously. Its main purpose is to provide simultaneous execution of multiple threads to utilize the CPU time as much as possible. If you observe in this diagram, this process is divided into different threads. It is a Java feature where one can one process can subdivide the specific program into two or more threads to make the execution of the program fast and easy. Question number two, what is threading? Java. Threads are basically the lightweight and smallest unit of a processing that can be managed independently by the scheduler, right? The threads are referred to as a part of a process that simply let a program execute efficient, efficiently with other part of threads of the process at the same time. Using threads, one can perform a complicated task in the easiest way. It is considered the simplest way to take advantage of multi, multiple CPU available in the machine. They are the common address space and are independent of each other. Question number three, what are the two ways of implementing thread in Java? So there are two ways by extending thread class or by implementing runnable interval. Your thread must extend thread class and override run method. If you are using first way extending thread class, then your thread must extend thread class and override run method. Whatever the task which you want to perform by this thread, keep the task in the overridden run method. Runnable interface. Runnable interface has only one method, that is run method. Your thread class must implement runnable interface and override run method and keep the task to be performed in this run method. Right? Whenever you want to, uh, whenever you want to perform this task, create an object to java.lang.thread class by passing an object of your thread class which implements the runnable interface and then call start. Question number four. How many types of threads are available in Java? And explain. There are two types of threads in Java, user thread and diamond thread. User threads are the threads which are created by the application or user. They are high priority threads. JVM will not exit until all user threads finish their work. JVM will wait for user threads to finish their task. And these, uh, these threads are foreground threads. And daemon threads are the threads which are mostly created by the JVM. And these threads always run in background, most important. And these threads are used to perform some background tasks like your garbage collection. And these threads are less priority threads. JVM will not wait for these threads to finish their execution. JVM will exit as soon as all threads finish their execution. Number five, what is the differentiate between creating thread using runnable interface and extending thread class. So when you are implementing a class with the help of this, when you are uh, creating a thread the, by implementing runnable interface, then you can extend you can extend any other class also. But if you are creating a thread with extending a thread class, then you cannot extend any other class. As we know, multiple inheritance is not supported in Java. That's why we are using inheritance. If you are using runnable interface, then you can extend one or more classes. But if you are extending thread class, you cannot extend any other class. If you are implementing runnable interface, you can extend n number of classes. No overhead of additional methods it gives some additional methods from thread class. For when you are using multiple, uh, when you are using implementing runnable interface, separate the task from the runner and it does not separate the task from the runner. It is an object-oriented practice and extend threads, it's not an object-oriented practice. If implements runnable, it is loosely coupled where extends threads, it's tightly coupled. Question number six, can we change the name of the main thread? If yes and how? Yes, we can change the name of main thread also, right? How you can change with the help of set name method, right? Current dot thread, it will return your current thread. And with the help of set name method, we can change name of the main method also. Question number seven. Do two threads can have same name? How do you identify the threads having the same name? Yes, in your program, two threads can have same name. And two threads which are having same name, they can be identified by their thread ID because thread ID is unique log number which remains unchanged through out of the life of a thread. And thread ID can be retrieved using get ID. Question number eight. What are mean priority, norm priority and max priority? Mean priority, norm, normal priority and max priority. These are the constant fields which are defined in the java.lang.thread class. 
and which defines lowest, normal, and highest priority for thread separately, respectively. Main priority. Mean priority is what? It defines the lowest priority that has a thread can have and its value is one. Norm priority, it defines the normal priority that a thread can have and its value is five. Max priority, it defines the highest priority thread that a thread can have and its value is 10. So mean priority value is one, norm priority value is five and max priority value is 10. Question number nine, what is the default priority of a thread? Can we change it? If yes, how? If you are not, if you are not setting any priority, then default priority of a thread is parent priority or it's five. And if you want to change that priority, then you can use set priority. Question number ten: What is the priority of main thread, and can we change it? The normal priority of a main thread is always non priority. No, that is. Yes, if you, if you want to change the priority of a main thread, then you can use this get priority method with the, uh, sorry, with the help of set priority method, you can change the priority of a main method also. And same, if you want to change priority of other threads also, same here with the help of set priority, you can change the priority of any thread. Question number 11, what is the purpose of join method? Join is a final method of thread class and it can be used to join the start of a thread's execution to the end of another thread's execution so that a thread will not start running until another thread has ended. You can observe in this program that it is here two thread T1 started and T1 joins and with the help of this join other threads will join the another thread. So, if the join method is called on a thread instance, the currently running thread will block until the thread instance has finished executing. What is synchronization? Synchronization, we can make the threads to execute particular method or block in a sync, not simultaneously. Through synchronization, we can make the threads to execute particular method or block simultaneously, not simultaneously. When a method or block is declared as a synchronized, only one thread can enter into that method or block. When one thread is executing synchronized method or block, the other threads which want to execute that method or block, they have to wait until first thread executes that method or block, thus avoiding the thread interference and achieving the thread safeness. We can use this synchronization. Question number 13. What is the use of synchronized block? Synchronization slows down the application because at any given time, only one thread can enter into synchronized method. Other threads have to wait until first threader finish its execution of that method. This slows down the execution of whole application. Instead of synchronizing the whole method, synchronizing the only that part of which to be monitored or thread saves, saves the time. This can be done by using this synchronized block. Question number 14. Is it possible to make constructor synchronize? Not possible. Synchronized keyword cannot be used with constructors. But constructors can have synchronized blocks. Question number 15. Can we use synchronized keyword with variables? No, you can't use synchronized keyword with variables. You can use synchronized keyword only with methods, but not with variable, constructor, static initializer, and instance initializers. Question number 16. Synchronized methods or synchronized blocks, which one do you prefer? Synchronized blocks are better than synchronized methods because synchronizing some part of a method improves the performance than synchronizing the whole method. Question number 17. What is the difference between wait and slip method in Java? Right. So wait method, the thread which calls wait method releases the lock it holds. Slip method, the thread which calls slip method doesn't release the lock it holds. Wait method, the thread regains the lock after other threads call either notify or notify all method on that same log. So sleep, no question of regaining the log as thread doesn't release the log. And in wait method must be called within the synchronized block. But sleep method can be called within or outside the synchronized block. Wait method is a member of java.lang.object class where the sleep method is a member of java.lang.thread class. And so this wait method is always called on objects where this sleep method is always called on thread. Question number 18. What is the difference between interrupted and is interrupted method? Both is interrupted and interrupted methods are used to check whether a particular thread is interrupted or not. Both these threads return current interrupt status of a thread. 
is interrupted is a non static method where interrupted is a static method the main difference between these two method is that interrupted is interrupted doesn't clear the interrupt status whereas interrupted method clears the interrupt status question number 19 explain the thread life cycle or explain thread states in java what are the thread what are the states new runnable running waiting and terminated you can see this diagram new a thread will be in this state before calling start method runnable a thread will be in this state after calling the start method blocked or waiting a thread will be in this state when the thread is waiting for object lock to enter into synchronized method or block or a thread will be in this same state if deadlock occurs and then the running when your thread is in actual execution and terminated a thread will be in this state once it finishes its execution question number 20 can we call start method twice no start method must be called only once because right because if you call start method second time it will throw an illegal thread state exception as thread is already started so you cannot call start method twice question number 21 differentiate between start and run method start method new thread is created when you call this run method no new thread is created when you call this start method newly created thread execute task kept in a run method and run calling thread itself execute task kept in a run method start method is a member of java.lang. thread class where this run method is a member of java.lang. runnable interface you can't call start method more than once you cannot call in previous example we have seen we cannot call start method twice but you can call run method multiple times start method is used in multi threaded programming where run method it's used no using multi threaded programming concept as well as uh, we can use it to call that threads we, we can use this run method to execute thread. question number 22 what will be happen if you don't override the thread class run method nothing will happen as such if you don't override the run method the compiler will not show any error it will execute the run method of the thread class and we will just don't get any output because run method is with an empty implementation you can see in this diagram observe this program then it will execute a run method or it does not show means this run method will execute with an empty implement what is executor framework question number 23 what is executor framework the executor framework contains a bunch of components that are used to efficiently manage work threads the executor api decouple the execution of a task from the actual task to be executed via executors this design is one of the implementation of producer consumer code pattern and the java dot util dot concurrent executors provide factory method which are be able to create thread pool of worker threads to so use the executor framework we need not to create one such a thread pool and then submit a task to it for execution it is the job of the executor framework to schedule and execute the submitted task and return the result from the thread pool question number 24 explain volatile variables in java a volatile variable is basically a keyword that is used to ensure that address the visibility of changes to variable in multi threaded programming this keyword cannot be used with classes and method instead instead of can be used with variables it is simply used to achieve thread safety if you mark any variable as a volatile then all the threads can read its value directly from the main memory rather than cpu cache so that each thread can get updated value of the variable question number 25 what is deadlock see synchronized keyword we can use why we use synchronized keyword to make the class or method thread safe which means only thread can have lock synchronized method and use it other threads have to wait till the lock release and anyone of them acquire that lock it is important to use you know uh, in our program is running in multi thread environment where two or more threads execute simultaneously but some sometimes it causes this deadlock situation deadlock can occur in a situation when a thread is waiting for an object lock that is acquired by another thread and second thread is waiting for an object lock that is acquired by first one since both threads are waiting for each other to release the lock and this condition is called as deadlock 
so these are the top 25 multi trading questions thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates thank you